What is up, everybody? Nate Tice here from The Athletic Football Show, back again with another edition of Wind the Clock, where I take a play from the past weekend of NFL action and break it down for about five to ten minutes and point out little things of why it worked, why it didn't work, and everything in between. This week, going to be looking at an Arizona Cardinals play. Yes, Arizona Cardinals, the team that everyone projected to have the number one pick next year against the Dallas Cowboys. A Rondale Moore touchdown, went for a big one, upset the Cowboys, huge win for the Cardinals franchise. Let's see what happened. So it's a game neutral situation, meaning it's a one score game. It's middle of second quarter, it's second and two. Uh, the unique thing is that the Cardinals come out in 0-1 personnel. And what 01 personnel is zero running backs. That first number is always going to mean running backs. One tight end. And just doing the math, the remaining skill position players, you have five offensive linemen, six quarterbacks, one tight end, leaving four wide receivers. So when you hear personnel groupings, 11, 12, 13, 22, that is always going to be how many running backs, the first number, and how many tight ends, the second number, creating 01. That is a unique look. The Cardinals have not shown 01 this entire season, this entire season being two weeks, but still through two weeks. And the play before this, they showed 02 personnel with no running backs and they had two tight ends on the field. So that was three wide receivers if you're doing a little pop quiz at home. So the Cardinals are in 01 personnel and they are in a three by one formation, meaning three pass catchers, eligible receivers over here and one to the boundary over there, three by one. The unique thing about this three by one, other than that there's no running backs on the field, is that Rondell Moore, a typical receiver, is in the backfield. And not only that, is he is aligned strong, meaning towards the trips side. Typically in a three by one, if you remember my Rams video from a couple of weeks ago, they are in a three by one formation, actually somewhat similar to this. And the running back is away. Kyron Williams is away from the tight end. And that is a typical set, a weak set. So Moore is strong towards the trips side. And that will have an effect on how the Cowboys linebackers play. And we'll get to that when I get to the end zone view. The Cowboys match with Dime, which is six defensive backs which is in football logic makes total sense nickel equals five defensive backs so what do you call six defensive backs dime makes total sense that doesn't make sense and this is not an unusual look for the cowboys they are comfortable playing in dime personnel they do it a lot even with the Diggs injury this is something that they kind of major in with the cardinals funky personnel grouping they decide to keep things safe they don't run man coverage they run a too high safety look that is because they don't want to get caught with a bad matchup. You got Rondell Moore in the backfield. We don't want Leighton Vander Esch or a safety on him. Let's keep things simple, keep things in front of us, and just let's keep this funky look at bay. That is what that's what the Cowboys are trying to do so far. This is an unscouted look for them. They're for their defense. You can even see Leighton Vander Esch right here at the beginning of the clip. He's communicating because the Cardinals went tempo here. They know they're in the funky look and unscouted look, so they are going to try and take advantage of it. They're going to try and take advantage of all the speed on the field and the speed of which they attack, the speed at which they snap the ball. When going fast, it's probably best to keep things simple, right? So the Cardinals do. This is not a crazy play call from them on this touchdown. It's going to be a zone read with a bubble with Hollywood Brown. So you have a zone read right here. Joshua Dobbs is reading 92 right there. Hollywood Brown is on a bubble, and these two are going to be blocking. That is the play. <laughs> it is zone read with a bubble. Every player on this field, on this offense, has run this at least in high school, college, and maybe even in the pros already. So again, you can see this Cowboys front just getting set. Van Der Esch is just getting the coverage. The defensive end is just getting set. Ball is snapped. There is a seal right here, which we'll see from the end zone view in a second, and it's off to the races. There goes Rondell Moore untouched to the end zone for a touchdown. And you go all the way back, you can see Joshua Dobbs reading the defensive end. You can see the bubble. You can see the block. You can see the block. And Dobbs makes his read. Defensive end stays, hands the ball off, does not want to throw this bubble. And it's a touchdown. And you can see a very happy Rondale Moore talking to the camera. So the end zone view is going to be great to show exactly what that cardinal speed a tempo and putting speed on the field and an exotic look what the effect that has on a very good cowboys defense they might be missing digs but this is still a good front and it has a lot of speed themselves when they're usually the aggressors here and you could tell the cardinals just by all this funkiness like a knuckleball pitcher just kind of kept them off balance you see van Esch communicating you see the defensive front kicking over right before the ball snapped 
and then you can see the zone right here. Now, again, Rondell Moore is kicked strong, and because they are in the, the zone coverage, because they're in a too high look, in a cloud to the boundary look, which I'll explain in a second, look where the dime linebacker and the linebacker are. They are bumped over. They are bumped strong with Moore. So that's gonna create some natural angles in the run game. And at the snap of the ball, remember, snap of the ball happened quickly. As soon as this defensive tackle, as soon as Jonathan Hankins goes inside, the Cowboys are in a load of trouble. There is no Micah Parsons, no Demarcus Lawrence to kind of shore up their problems here. So as soon as that happened and yelled a Froholt, the center here, number 72, seals Hankins, gets his head across. It's onto the second level for the left guard here. And he's going to block the dime linebacker and it's off to the races for more. Now, if I go all the way back, defenses have to be gap sound. They have to have a defender in every single gap. They have to account for all those spaces. So when Hankins goes inside here, remember, this is probably just a miscommunication. They're bumping the front. They, he thinks that it's going to one thing, it, one thing is happening. Another thing does happen. No one else gets that call or he's the only one that hurt her. He misheard. Again, things are happening very quickly at the NFL level. And when the team's going tempo, he goes inside. Now you can see as soon as, as Froholt hooks him here, look at the gaps. There are two gaps for this player to play. He has to pick one to defend. And you might be asking, why is Curse here? Number one here, why is he not getting in the run fit? Remember I said it's cloud and it's cover two to the boundary there? I'll get to the end or to the wide view in a second, but I'll explain why that's significant. The safety is not going to be in the run fit there. So as soon as this left guard gets to the second level there, this is this is gone. So just because that tempo causes a miscommunication, Froholt does a great job of hooking him right there. And so they just wad this all up. Defensive end, Dobbs is reading. He, so he's basically blocked. Van Der Esch is worried about the bubble. Remember Hollywood Brown on the bubble on the outside here? Ball is handed off. You got a two-way read with a blocker in front. This is like as simple as it gets. And Rondell Moore is so explosive, he just takes advantage of that. So the last thing is I'll go to this end zone view. And you're wondering why that Cowboys safety might be back there. Remember, they're trying to be in a simple look here. So what the Cowboys do is they cloud this side, which is cover two to the boundary. Now, that's for coverage reasons what cover two is, obviously cover two, but there are run rules when you're in certain coverages. And when you're in cover two and you're in the cloud side, the corner is in the run fit and the safety is not. If they were in a quarter side, a cover four side, the safety would be down in the run fit and he would not, he'd be locked in on this receiver. But because he is in the run fit here, this safety is not. When this play happens and the boundary receiver takes an outside release right here because it is cover two, he occupies the, the corner who turns his back because he has to collision him, that's his coverage rules then turns his back to get in the run fit. But remember, this is a pass heavy look. Oh man, we're a cloud over here. I, I'm, I'm expecting pass here. I'm not gonna have to have run fit. We're gonna be fine over there. Same with the curse in the back. They got nobody kind of help, no support system. And that is not like a, like just a damning thing for these Cowboys players, but that is just, they just got caught. They just ca got caught and the Cardinals put the speed on the field. They put Rondell Moore on the field on their way to touchdown, a victory, and ultimately a lot of happy faces in that Cardinals building on Monday. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's Wind the Clock. Please make sure to like this video. Also check out all the previous Wind the Clocks and check out the Athletic Football Show YouTube channel. Got a ton of great stuff on there. Make sure to subscribe. We got live streams. We got recording of our previous pods. We got plenty of great stuff on there. Check out Wind the Clock. Check out the Athletic Football Show YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time.